Hi everyone. Today we're going to start unit eight, which is about solving non-right triangles or oblique triangles. An oblique triangle is a triangle which doesn't have any right angle. For example, here in this dotted triangle that you see here, we have an angle which is 90. So we call that a right triangle, but the other triangle that you see on the side doesn't have any right angle, so we call that an oblique triangle. The first thing that we're going to learn today is law of cosine. So we are going to learn how to use law of cosine to solve for a side or an angle in an oblique triangle. Okay, so here we have a right triangle. Let's consider this first. If I have this right triangle and I want to solve for side C, I can use Pythagorean theorem. C squared equal to A squared plus B squared. But what if I have an oblique triangle? Then how can I solve for side C? In this case, I can use law of cosine. How do I use that? Using one of these given formulas. For example, if I want to solve for side C, I can use this formula. C squared equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of C. I can use any of other given formulas to solve for other sides. For example, to solve for A, I use this one. A squared equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. Notice that for each of these sides, if I use the, tri the law of cosine, so for example, a, a squared goes here on the left side, and the other two sides, square them and write them here, add them together, then subtract 2bc times cosine of the angle, which is between the other two sides. So I want to solve for side a, I use the other two sides and the angle between them in this formula. To solve for side B, I use the other two sides, A and C, and also the cosine of the angle between those two, and use them in this formula to solve for side B. So notice that for each of these formulas, if I have side A on the left side, I have cosine of angle A on the right side, side B on the left side, cosine of angle B on the right side, side C and angle C on the right side. So that's how we can relate the sides and the angles together. Okay, now let's answer this question. What happens in the first equation if angle A is a right angle? That means it's equal to 90. Okay, so let's see what happens in the first formula. I have a squared equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of 90 because angle A is 90 here. What is cosine of 90? On the unit circle, we know that angle 90 is here and the coordinates is 0 and 1 and we know that the x value is always cosine. So cosine of 90 is 0. And then 0 times anything else is again 0. So this whole part will cancel because it's 0. Then the equation will be like a squared equal to b squared plus c squared, which is Pythagorean theorem. So we can say Pythagorean theorem is just an, a special case of law of cosine. Like when the angle is equal to 90, then this part will cancel, will be canceled out, and then we are left with the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, now let's see how we can use any of these formulas or law of cosine to solve for a missing side in a triangle. So here we have a triangle ABC. First of all, let's talk a little bit about how we name a triangle. We always name the angles of a triangle using capital letters and the sides using lowercase letters. For example, if I have angle A here, Opposite angle A is this side. I call that A, which lower with a lowercase letter. Angle B is here. Opposite side of angle B is side B with lowercase is equal to five. Opposite angle C 
be side C. So that's how we name the sides and angles of a triangle. Okay, so now we are looking for side A. Before that, let's see what kind of triangle we have here, what case we have here. We are given one side, one angle, and another side. So we call that SAS means side, angle, side. So whenever you have a case of SAS or side, angle, side, we can use law of cosine to solve for the missing side. So I can use law of cosine here. I'm looking for side A, so I use the first formula over here. Okay, so A squared equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of angle A. Now let's see what is given. B is 5, 5 squared plus 7 squared is C minus 2 times 5 times 7 times cosine of 39. Okay? I put all these in parentheses because they're all multiplied together. So we have to multiply them together, whatever we have here, all calculate together and then subtract from whatever I have here. So I put them in parentheses to focus, to uh, actually emphasize that these are all together. Anyway, so let's go to the next step. Five squared is 25, seven squared is 49, minus 2 times 5 is 10 times 7 is 70, cosine of 39. Okay. Now, 25 plus 49 is 74 minus 70, cosine of 39. The common mistakes that usually students make here in this case is that they first subtract 70 from 74, then multiply that by cosine of 39, which is not right. The reason I put this in parentheses is to avoid this mistake. So I need to multiply 70 by cosine of 39 first, then subtract it from 74. Okay, so let's see what is this part. I'm going to use my calculator. First of all, make sure your calculator is in degrees mode because we're working in degrees. So let's check if our calculator is in degrees here mode you see it's in degrees mode so we are good to use that okay um, 70 times cosine of 39 54.4 so this is 74 minus 54.4 which is equal to 19.6. So what I found here is a squared. Don't forget that we're not done yet. We need to take the square root of 19.6 to find a, which will be equal to 4.4. So this is how we solve for a side in an SAS triangle using law of cosine. Let's do another example here. So we have a triangle ABC. The first thing that I'm going to do is to draw the triangle. I can use any form of triangle here. You can draw it the way that you like. I draw it this way. Just make sure your triangle is not a right triangle. Like you can draw this way or this way. Whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's not a right triangle. And then you can start naming the sides and angles A, B, C. This is A, this is B, and this one is C. Let's see what is given. B is 4, so this is equal to 4. C is 5, and angle A is given 51. And we need to find the side opposite the given angle, which means this one. So we're looking for um, side A. Okay, so I'm going to use law of cosine again. Why? Because it's side, angle, side given to us. So we have a side, angle, side case here. A squared equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of angle A. B is 4 squared 
c is 5 squared minus 2 times 4 times 5 times cosine of 51 and put them in parentheses 4 squared is 16 5 squared is 25 minus 2 times 4 8 times 5 is 40 cosine of 51 16 plus 25 is 41 minus 40 cosine of 51 once again in order to avoid the common mistake I put them in parentheses so I calculate this first then subtract it from 41 so 41 minus let's see what is 40 times cosine of 51 25.17 this is 25.17 then what is 41 minus 25.17? It's equal to 15.83. 15.83. So this is a squared. Now to find a, I just take the square root of that 15.83. So square root of, oh, I'm sorry, um, square root of 15.83 is 3.97. So this is how we solve for the missing side in this case. Now let's go to the next example on next page. Here we have another triangle called XYZ. So I draw a triangle which is not a right triangle x y z let me just draw it again this looks like uh, i have a right triangle here so let me change it okay this one is not a right triangle this is bigger than 90 so i have x y and z the sides opposite x is called small x, opposite y is small y, and opposite z is small z. What is given? x is 3, this is 3, y is 7, and z is 9. So what case do we have? We have all the sides given. So this is a case which is called side, 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 because all three sides are given. If we have a side 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 case again we can use law of cosine to solve this triangle we are trying to find angle z here this is what we're looking for so we are going to use law of cosine so which one do i use i need to use the formula in a way that angle z is actually used here or involved we learned here that if I have any angle here on the right side, the same side of that angle is also used on the left side of the equation. So here, I'm going to use the formula in this way. Z squared equal to X squared plus Y squared minus 2XY cosine of angle z so you see i have angle z here and side z on the left side okay x is three squared uh, let me write it again and then like here okay z is given nine nine squared equal to x is three squared y is seven squared minus 2 times 3 times 7 times cosine of z, which we do not have z, we're looking for this. Okay, 9 squared is 81 equal to 3 squared 9 plus 7 squared 49 minus 2 times 3 is 6 times 7 is 42. Cosine of zero of z i'm sorry okay 
81 is equal to 9 plus 49 is 58 minus 42 cosine of z. Okay, here we are trying to solve for angle z, which is stuck with this cosine. So first of all, we need to um, solve for cosine of z, like have the cosine z by itself on one side and everything else on the other side. Then we solve for z. So in order to have cosine by itself on one side, I need to get rid of anything that I have around that. The first thing that I need to get rid get rid of that is 58. According to PEMDAS, we have to uh, get rid of 58 first. So I subtract 58 from both sides. So 81 minus 58 is 23 equal to, what I have left here on the right side is negative 42 times cosine of z. Now, to get rid of this negative 42, I need to divide by negative 42. I don't add 42 to this side to get rid of that because this 42 is actually multiplied by cosine of z. There is a multiple side between them. So to get rid of that or undo this multiple, I have to divide that. So negative 42, okay? Now, 23 by negative 42, let's see what is that. 23 divided by negative 42 is equal to negative 0.52. So this will be like negative 0.52 equal to cosine of z. Now, how do I solve for angle z this cosine this z is stuck with this function of cosine so in order to get rid of this function of cosine i need to use the inverse function so cosine negative one of both sides i use the inverse function i forgot the negative put the negative here equal to cosine negative one of cosine of z because these two are inverse of each other, they cancel each other. So what I have left is angle Z is equal to cosine negative, cosine negative 1 of negative 0.52. Now I use my calculator. Second cosine is cosine negative 1 of negative 0.52. It's equal to 121.33. So it's equal to 121.33. That's the measure of the angle Z. We found it. So whenever we have all three sides given, like side, 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 and we're looking for an angle, we can use law of cosine. Now let's work on this example. Again, we have another triangle, X, Y, Z. So I'm going to start with graphing this, drawing this triangle X, Y, Z. You don't have to draw the same triangle that I'm drawing. You can draw your triangle any way that you want. Just make sure it's not a right triangle. Okay, so the sides are X here, Y here, and Z here. What is given? X is 3 z is 11 and y is 7. I'm trying to solve for angle z so I need to write the formula in a way that angle z is involved. So I use z squared equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2xy cosine of angle z z squared is 11 squared equal to 3 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 3 times 7 times cosine of angle z. This is 121 equal to 3 squared is 9 plus 
49 minus 2 times 3 is 6 times 7 is 42 times cosine of 3. 121 equal to 9 plus 49 is 58 minus 42 cosine of 3. Again, I need to solve for z, but first of all, solve for cosine of z. So get rid of anything we have around that. So subtract 58 from both sides. So on the left side, we are going to have 121, um, 121 minus 58, which is 63. So I have 63 on the left side and negative 42 cosine of z on the right side. Then again, I divide by negative 42. 63 divided by negative 42. 63 divided by negative 42 is equal to negative 1.5. So cosine of v is equal to negative 1.5. To solve for angle z, I need to take the inverse of both sides. So cosine negative 1 of both sides. These two cancel each other. And z, angle z, is equal to cosine negative 1 of negative 1.5. Now let's see what is that equal to. So I go second cosine of negative 1.5. And the answer, as you see, is an error. It gives us a domain error. Why? Here's the reason. We know that cosine, if I draw the cosine graph for you, it's something like this. We know that the highest point that cosine can have is 1, and the lowest point is negative 1. Basically, range of cosine is from negative 1 to 1. So the lowest point is negative 1. How can I have negative 1.5 for cosine then? So this means this is not right. That's why we got an error here. So I can say there is no solution. Keep in mind, whenever you have a value of cosine or sine, something bigger than 1 or less than negative 1, that is not possible. So we won't have any solution for that. So just to make a summary of what we learned, if we have a side angle side, um, sorry, side angle side triangle or side 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 triangle, we can use law of cosine to solve the non-right triangle or oblique triangle. So this was today's lesson. Make sure you practice more to learn better. Have a good day.